local and global maxima and minima. Suppose we have a curve like this and we know that the highest point on the curve is a point of maxima. So this curve has three points of maxima. We also know that the lowest point on the curve is at point of minima. So this curve has three points of minima. We are already cleared up with this. Now let me ask you an interesting question. Is there any difference between this point of maxima and this point of maxima? Or is there any difference between this point of minima and this point of minima? They look similar, right? But here's the fun part. There's a major difference between these two points of maxima and these two points of minima and this is what we are going to discuss in this video. Consider this curve again. The highest point on this entire curve is this point. So we call this point as global maxima which means that this is the highest point on the entire curve and there is no other maxima which is higher than this point. Similarly, the lowest point on this entire curve is this point. So, we call this point as global minima which means that this is the lowest point on the entire curve and there are no other minima which is lower than this point. Then what is the local maxima and minima? If we keep global maxima aside, then rest all points of maxima are known as local maxima. This means that since there is a mountain in this locality, so in this area we have maxima but since it is not the highest point on the entire curve, so it is regarded as local maxima. Similarly, this point is also regarded as local maxima. In the same way, if we keep global minima aside, then rest all points on minima are known as local minima. This means that since there is a valley in this locality, so in this area we have minima. But since it is not the lowest point on the entire curve, so it is regarded as local minima. Similarly, this point is also regarded as a local minima. This is the difference between local and global maxima and minima.